All right. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, lead story on the blaze right now. Tens of thousands. Uh, here's the headline. Officials in Connecticut stunned by what could be a massive statewide act of civil disobedience. This, and I want you to remember, this is Connecticut. This is New England. This is provincial. This is, these are not cowboys. These are not, these are, these are mean, liberals for the most part. These are liberals for the most part. I mean, even the conservatives are liberals. In it's really Connecticut. True. Yeah. Okay. Tens of thousands of defiant gun owners seemingly have made the choice to not register their semi automatic rifles with the state of Connecticut as required by the hastily p- passed gun control law. By possessing unregistered so called assault rifles, they are technically have become guilty of committing class D felonies overnight. Unconstitutional. Un- absolutely unconstitutional. Absolutely. You, you can't make something that was illegal uh, now. Uh, illegal and now you can be penalized for it no you can't you can't do that you can't grandfather somebody into a crime yeah i mean think it's unconstitutional this This is a these are people who did everything the right way have their weapons legally and and we because of a new law passed they have turned them into felons you can't can't do that that's unconstitutional it seems it seems like it would get written did is there not a lawyer in the state of connecticut Uh, i I, I happen to know there are may i just say hastily Oh, yeah, very yeah, really yeah. hastily that, that can't stand. Uh, can't past stand. gun control. Roughly At roughly 50,000 applications, officials estimate uh, that as little as 15% of the covered semi-automatic rifles have actually been registered. Good. No one has anything close to definitive figures, but the most conservative estimates place the number of unregistered assault weapons well above 50,000 and as high as 350,000. Wow. Needless to say, some lawmakers are stunned. They shouldn't Uh, be. They shouldn't be. New gun control law passed in April. um, Likely at least 20,000 individual people, possibly as many as 100,000, are now in direct violation of the law for refusing to register their guns. As noted above, it is now a Class D felony. Well, the law is in direct violation of the U.S. Constitution, so who's committing the greater crime here? Uh, yeah. The dumbasses who passed the law. Well, and it's one thing, too. Like, if, if they were to say everyone in the future needs to register your corduroys, mm-hmm. uh, even the corduroys you purchased last month, we don't like they're them. Not, they're illegal now because they're ugly. They're illegal because they're ugly. Yeah. And, and, and it would be ridiculous, and I still think unconstitutional, but it certainly is unconstitutional when you're talking about a constitutionally guaranteed right. Yeah. It'd be like It would be like saying... Uh, everything you guys said on this show last week is now illegal because of this hastily passed law we just made. Uh, so we're going to prosecute you for it now. No, no, you can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was legal then. This is the picture of the day that everybody had to go register their guns. And when this wow. went viral, people were all saying, this is Weimar, Ger- Germany. This is exactly what happened in Weimar, Germany. They said, you have to register. We have all these guns from World War I. You have to register your guns. And people said, no. And some people didn't register their guns. And when Hitler finally came in, um, those people were in deep trouble. You better grab a hold of the Constitution right now because you don't know who's coming in next. Let's don't, don't, you don't have to go to, oh, and President Obama is going to be Hitler. You don't have to go there. What about the next guy? Mm-hmm. You think Chris Christie is going to be better? Really? Seriously, look mm-hmm. what Chris Christie is doing to his enemies. There's no way he didn't know about the bridge. There's no way. So what does he do? I mean, he thinks that, you know, assault weapons are bad. He, he you know, he's not a good guy. So forget about this president. What about the next president on our side? Supposedly on mm-hmm. our side. Oh, and think about it. People were like, "Oh, well, Michael Bloomberg's the worst." Well, now you have Bill De Blasio, who's actually worse. Worse. Uh, and and this can happen to us too. I mean, who knows? Barack Obama might be the conservative alternative. So the Republican state senator Tony Gil- Guillermo uh, told the Current re- recently. That's the Hartford paper. Um, uh, he recently spoke to a constituent at a meeting in Ashford who informed him that some of his friends with semi-automatic rifles are intentionally taking a stand. He made the analogy to prohibition. I said, you're talking about civil disobedience. And he said, yes. Glermo said he really thought the vast majority would register. Well, because you, you're a fool. You don't know people. These politicians don't have any idea who Americans are. I thought the vast majority would yeah. register. Um, other officials uh, think the low registration number are due to ignorance on behalf of the gun owners. Well, they didn't promote that Believe whole uh, yeah. law thing enough after the shooting. Believe me, you have a semi-automatic weapon. 
you know exactly what the law is. There's no ignorance there. You have been really, you have a semi-automatic weapon and you have it in your house and you're just kind of like, well, I don't know. What are you, what are you, what are you, a, a gang member? Yeah, like I'm, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a gun owner. I have a shotgun. Uh, you know, I bought it because I want to protect my house, but I'm not a gun guy. You don't buy an assault weapon unless you're a gun guy. Not true. You know well, what? No. Uh, you, I mean, when uh, I say assault, assault weapon, I say weapon. it in quotes, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, I'm saying what they're considering and banning by this law. You don't go out and buy a fifteen hundred dollar AR-15 yeah, uh, unless you true. actually care about guns. Yeah, yeah. And or you're a hunter. Yeah, if you're a hunter. But I mean, you're yeah, but I mean, but you're you're, you're who, putting a fifteen hundred dollar investment in. Yeah, like so I, you know, you know exactly what it you is. You know what you're doing, and you follow these issues. Is what I'm trying to say. I mean, you're not com- ignorant of gun laws if mm. you're going through this process. I mean, no. that's uh, that's absurd. No, and there's nobody more responsible than gun owners, honestly, except for the thugs that they always claim that we are. NRA members are some of the most responsible people I've ever met. They know what the law is. They don't want them in the hands of criminals. They're terrified of the law right. because of things like this. The law changes to make them a felon without their knowledge. I mean, they have to have the knowledge or that's going to happen to them all the time. They, yeah. And you've got to believe the vast majority of these guys know. But I mean, I, I, there is another law that supersedes what Connecticut decides to do. I'm just glad I don't even have a gun. So 